Hi, this is Kenji from the CompassionateGeek.com for Lecoma Design. Today I'm going to show you a simple tutorial on how to add your email address to Apple Mail. This will be for IMAP email setup. And IMAP is nice because any changes that you make either online if you log into your email or in your Apple Mail or if you make them on a smartphone like an iPhone, all those changes will appear um, on each device. So for instance, if I send an email, if I delete an email, if I make a new folder, all those things are going to show up in each of these places, and that's the benefit to having IMAP. It's especially useful if you have uh, two or more computers. So the first thing I need to do is go to Google Apps for Business. And I do that by typing the word apps into Google and searching. And make sure you go to Google Apps for Business official website. I'm going to click sign in. And I'm going to type in my domain and leave it at email and go. The sign in window, you'll notice, already has my domain down here. So all I need to type is the first part of my email address and then my password. And I'm going to sign in. In the upper right hand corner, I'm looking for the settings tab. I click on settings and then I get into all these different settings. I'm looking for the forwarding and pop slash IMAP tab. And at the bottom, I'm going to enable IMAP and I'm going to save changes. Now I'm ready to go over to Apple Mail and add my account. I'm going to go to Mail, Preferences, Accounts, and then this lower left hand corner, I'm going to click the plus and I'm going to add my email. So my name is how I wanted to appear in all my emails. And there's my email address and my password. If I've done that correctly, the next screen is the incoming mail server, which I'll change to IMAP. The description will be, I'm putting in Lecoma because that will remind me that this is my Lecoma email address. So the incoming mail server is imap.gmail.com and my username is my full email address. There's my password already auto-filled. I click continue and I get my outgoing mail server. The description isn't important, but only for you to remember. So in this case, I'm using the coma and the outgoing mail server is smtp.gmail.com. I put a space in there by accident. I'm going to use authentication. There's my full email address and click continue. If I've done that correctly, I'll get an account summary screen and I'll click create and look at that. Ta-da! There's my Lecoma email. I'm all done. Thanks for listening. This is Kenji from the CompassionateGeek.com for Lecoma Design.